Security Health Analytics is a native scanner and security command center. It assesses the overall security state and activity of your virtual machines, containers, network, storage, and identity and access management policies. The built-in capabilities in the standard edition include scans for high-severity misconfigurations such as open storage buckets. Using the premium edition of Security Health Analytics, you gain access to scans for many more potential security issues, such as API keys that need to be rotated. In addition, you get compliance monitoring and security posture management against standards and frameworks such as PCI DSS, CIS GCP 1.0, NIST 853, and ISO 27001. To enable Security Health Analytics, you must have the Security Center Admin Editor role in Cloud IAM. When you're finished adding roles, click Save. Then use the navigation window to head to Security Command Center. When you arrive, click on Add Security Sources. Use the toggle to enable Security Health Analytics if it is not already. Then scroll down and click Save. Security Health Analytics scans can take up to 12 hours to complete on the first run. After this initial run, it will scan your resources twice daily. The Vulnerabilities dashboard in Security Command Center displays the Security Health Analytics findings. If we sort the findings to show a count of active findings with high severity, you can see categories such as firewall rules that allow public access. Scrolling a bit further, we can see additional categories for things like cloud storage buckets that are publicly accessible, instances configured with public IP addresses, instances with SSL not being enforced, or resources where the web UI isn't enabled. For a full list of vulnerabilities, follow the link in our documentation in the description below. Drilling in, you can filter and view vulnerability findings in many different ways, like filtering to one or more projects, or by characteristics such as category, severity, or applicable benchmarks. Security Health Analytics can automatically detect common vulnerabilities and misconfigurations across a multitude of GCP products, and more categories are continually being added. After you filter by the vulnerabilities that are important to you, you can click through to view detailed information about the findings. Let's use the Category filter to take a look at the Open Firewall findings. Drilling into a specific finding, you can see a short description of the issue, including the asset affected and what it was detected by. Under Attributes, you can see when the finding was most recently seen and when it was first found, and the source URI. The recommendation tells us to complete two simple steps to resolve this finding. You can easily head to the link which takes you to the resource to fix the issue in a new tab. All you need to do is follow the recommendations and click Save. Here, I am editing the firewall rules to restrict the range of source IPs that are allowed connection to a specific project's virtual machines. Congratulations! You've enabled Security Health Analytics and learned how to respond to its findings.